Welcome to Manatic Stringworks. Please remember to like and subscribe for more video content. Well, hey there. I thought we would talk today about how to measure the resistance of your pickups using a multimeter. It's pretty easy to do. Why would you do it? Well, one is to see if your pickups are actually working, if you're having a problem. And two is to measure the resistance. It's not going to tell you exactly what the output of the pickups will be. Because that depends on the number of windings, it depends on the type of magnets inside, but it'll give you a good idea of the output of a pickup. But mainly it's to make sure that it's functioning and to give you a baseline to compare pickups to another pickup. Now always compare the same style, so these are humbuckers, so you would compare the impedance or resistance of these humbuckers to another set of humbuckers to give you a starting point to see, you know, perhaps which one has a little more output than the other. So to get started, it's pretty simple. Plug in your guitar, quarter inch jack, take your multimeter, and we're going to turn it to resistance. So that's measured in ohms, and you'll have that little symbol on your multimeter. And we're going to take our two leads, so the ground is going to go on the barrel of the jack, and the hot is the red leads going to go on the tip. So once you have those attached, put that aside, make sure your volumes are turned up. And now I'm going to use the pickup selector and select the neck and it's showing 11.19 ohms. I'm going to select the bridge, 11.08 ohms, so very close. And then both pickups at the same time, 5.57. So it's usually about half when you have the two pickups selected. So you can see that these two pickups are essentially the same pickups for this particular guitar. This is a kit guitar from Solo. These are the humbuckers that were supplied with the kit. Now some humbucker combinations are going to have different outputs, different impedances. So you'll have a really hot bridge pickup, maybe a mellower neck pickup, you know, lots of different combinations. But these two pickups are pretty much exactly the same. So it's the same procedure for humbuckers or single coils. So let me bring a Stratocaster on the bench and we'll have a look at the single coil. Alright, so now we have a Stratocaster on the bench. This one has three single coil lace sensor gold pickups. And we have a five way selector, of course, on the Stratocaster. Now, we're still in ohms on the meter. Do the same thing. We're going to plug in and we're going to attach our ground to the barrel of the output jack and the hot to the tip. And we should start getting a reading. So we're going to start off here in the fifth position, which is the neck. And we have 5.34. We're going to go to the middle pickup, 5.33. And you'll see that the bridge pickup is a lot hotter, 12.87. So as soon as you go to that bridge pickup, you should get a lot more output. Again, remember, it doesn't necessarily equate output to resistance, but if it's 12.87 and these are about 6, you know, this is probably going to be twice as low. <laughs> uh, so let's see about the combined pickup position. So here we have the middle and the bridge. We're at 4. Again, the middle was just 5.3. And look at that. We have the neck and the middle. We're at 3.19. So the resistance drops off quite a bit back to 5.34. So while I've got the multimeter out, we can also use it to check continuity. So that's to see if everything's grounded properly. You know, sometimes you get that real 
funny buzz you put your fingers on the strings and it stops you lift them off and it's buzzing again or humming well that's usually a ground issue not the pickup issue not a 60 cycle hum so you can check that by putting your multimeter on the continuity setting every one will be a little different this one will beep and what you want to do is take your hot and your ground leads and you're going to touch them to two different pieces of metal and if it beeps that means it's you have a continuous circuit. So I'm just touching some of the metal components, even the strings. Even works on the whammy bar. <laughs> now you can't put it on the same, well you can I should say. There you go. So it's showing everything is good. And I think if I touch the, let's see if I go up here, yeah. You can't see but I'm actually touching the tuning machines. <laughs> So, you know, that shows you that the whole guitar is grounded properly and you're not going to have any excessive noise. And so the telltale is you'll hear that static or humming noise, put your fingers on the strings and it stops. So that means you're grounding it. So if you're not getting that continuity beep when you're doing this, then you need to hunt down and see where a ground perhaps is not soldered properly to the control pots. Maybe you don't have a ground connected under the bridge properly, you know, or the output jack. The ground is maybe it's a cold solder or something like that. So, yeah, it's another use for the multimeter. All right, so let's say you have some pickups that you're going to put into a guitar or swap them out from an existing guitar, and you want to know what the resistance is of these pickups. Well. They don't have to be installed in the guitar. You can take the leads. So we're going to take the black to the ground, clip that on. Then we're going to take the white, in this case, to the hot lead, the red. And there you go. So this is a bridge Telecaster pickup. It's a Wilkinson M series. And it's showing about 7.38, 7.4 as the resistance. Now you can compare that to the one you already have in your guitar or just compare it to the spec of the pickup. You know, make sure it's it's meeting the spec. Also to check that it's working before you go ahead and install it in your guitar. And here's another Wilkinson Telecaster M-Series pickup. This is for the, uh, the neck. So we'll do the same thing. Black to black and then the hot to the red lead. And that's showing 7.25. So both of these have you know, approximately the same uh, resistance. Again, doesn't mean that the output's the same, but the resistance for the two of them is very similar. 7.4 for the bridge, 7.25 for the neck. All right, so let's say you have a humbucker pickup that you want to install new or replace an existing guitar but it has four wires so you can split the coils north and south and so this Wilkinson again this is a Wilkinson M series humbucker and it's already come where they put two of the wires together here and then these are basically your output so again put your ground on the black and then we're going to test the common output for both pickups there we go and that's showing seven, about seven ohms resistance. So if these are the two poles, north and south, so it should be about half. If I clip on those, yeah, 3.52. So if you were to split these two and go into a coil tapping type scenario, you'd have about three and a half ohms per uh, coil. Now, again, doesn't mean that the output's going to be lower, or lower, lower than, let's say, a single coil on the Strat we just looked at. But, uh, you know, it's just letting you know that it is splitting it correctly. And everything should be working fine. So, I hope uh, that helps you out a little bit. <laughs> just a quick tutorial on using a multimeter to check the resistance of your pickups, whether they're out of the box or already installed in a guitar or bass. 
and you know just a quick tip on how to use the multimeter to measure continuity as well check any ground issues so thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next video bye for now